In this video, we're going to look at the long-term adaptions to the musculoskeletal and cardiorespiratory systems. Long-term adaptions of the musculoskeletal system. When we're discussing long-term adaptions to the body, we are referring to the effects of training over a minimum of six to eight weeks. So, what happens to the muscles and the bones of the body when consistently exercising over a couple of months? This can be broken down into bones, joints, and muscles. The major benefits of exercise to the bones includes an increase of bone density and reduction of the risk of osteoporosis which is when bones become more porous and fragile, leading to the higher risk of fracture. When we exercise, our body reacts by strengthening our bones so they can endure further demands of the sport or activity in the future. It is also beneficial for the joints of the body. When you exercise, it strengthens the ligaments and tendon strength, meaning you will have a reduced risk of injury because of stronger connections between muscles and bone. You will also see an increase in the cartilage which helps to protect the joints and all these factors contribute to greater stability of the joints of the body. This is particularly important in sports that require a lot of agility. Next up is the effect long-term exercise has on the muscles of the body. The first is the term hypertrophy. This refers to the process of muscles being damaged during exercise and then repairing themselves bigger and stronger. When you perform endurance training over a longer period of time, it affects the size and number of mitochondria in the muscle. Mitochondria are responsible for producing energy aerobically, so they are really important for long distance athletes. The last effect exercise will have on the muscles is that the performer will have a better posture. This is important to ensure more efficient techniques and reducing the risk of injury. So. How does exercise affect the cardiorespiratory system? As the heart is a muscle, it will also result in hypertrophy by increasing in size and strength. Over time, the cardiac muscle will be able to pump more blood per beat, increasing resting stroke volume and decreasing resting heart rate. Also, when you regularly exercise, you reduce the risk of hypertension or high blood pressure. The vital capacity of the lungs will increase as well resulting in greater cardiovascular efficiency. A performer's maximum oxygen uptake, or VO2 max, will increase. This is assessed during this course by the multi-stage fitness test or forestry step tests. This is the ability to utilize oxygen during exercise more efficiently. Also linked with this greater efficiency is the faster delivery of oxygen into the bloodstream and the removal of waste products, such as carbon dioxide. Lastly, the process of gaseous exchange is improved by the development of more efficient alveoli and capillaries, which extract oxygen and remove carbon dioxide from the blood. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out any of the videos or playlists on this channel.